stocks hit record highs after a stronger than expected jobs report. And with every single S&P sector in the green so far year to date, recovery trades once again gaining steam. Let's go digging for some stock market treasures. We're on the lookout for under the radar names that are cheap, that are shaping up for a strong second half. I'm joined by Bill Baruch of Blue Line Capital and Gina Sanchez of Chantico Global and Lido Advisors. Gina, great to see you. What's your pick? Thanks. So we're picking a DFS, Discovery Financial Services. You know, this is one that was quite cheap in the pandemic, and the recovery has been a huge boon. And during COVID, they've managed to not only recover, but also expand their services, expanding in places like the Middle East, expanding their borrowing, et cetera. Uh, so we think that given what the outlook is, that they're actually very attractively priced right now. What happens as the pandemic hopefully winds down? You know, what, what we're seeing is we're seeing an unleashing of pent up demand. We're seeing, you know, con excess savings that um, have been, you know, burning holes in, in some, uh, you know, some Americans' pockets are being unleashed in terms of consumption demand. And it, that goes right through the credit cards. And Discover is one that, you know, is, is still picking up market share and is benefiting and growing. Yeah, you speak of pen up demand, just take a look at Las Vegas. All right, Bill, what are you betting on? I really like Gina's pick in the financial services space. And I, I think we're at this onset of a cyclical rotation where you have this massive jobs report. Uh, I think it's gonna force the Fed's hand in, in announcing a taper no later than that September meeting. We're today even we're we're really seeing the value stocks outperform, the Dow is is outperforming, the Nasdaq is lower. So I, I think in the second half, what you really gotta be looking for is is those value or cyclical stocks. And and I'm I'm starting off with a, a bank, Wells Fargo. I really like Wells Fargo for for a few reasons. I mean, obviously there's some great technicals, but um, you know, I, at this point, I, I, today is a strong day. I mean, you have a um, double dividend for for investors of record as of today. Uh, so that that's also given it a tailwind here. But you know, where where the pre pre pandemic highs in 2019, it hasn't outreached those yet. Where J P Morgan, Bank of America, those have. And, and I th I think looking in the future, they're really getting this. Um, the, the scandal of the account openings uh, in, in the uh, in the rearview mirror. And I think that's a tailwind over an investment period. You know, if you're looking three to five years out, I think Wells Fargo is going to outperform. They were one of the best performers prior to all of that. So when you look at these technicals right now, too, you are breaking a trend line that that it's, it's really decisively out above there now, going back to the 2018 high. I think we're going to see a tailwind that moves this to, you know, ballpark, uh, $55, and then we could see maybe $60, $60 from there. So I think there's a good upside uh, in, in, the, in the overall the bank's energies are going to outperform. So I have another pick for you. Energies, uh, Chenery Energy, LNG is the symbol. I, I like this it's as an LNG exporter. It's held up really well, even though energy itself has sort of taken a little breather over the past couple months. They're really well positioned within Texas and Louisiana uh, to, to do really great stuff. And, and as a midstream company, too, uh, you know, you're, you're going to find that space. I really like that space. I think it's sticky. I think there's going to be a lot of flows into that space. And then on top of that, technicals, uh, it's just holding really well out above that 2014 high, and it's holding and building a base. So I really like, you know, both, I like the sectors and I like those stocks within those sectors.